Okay, uh, I was asked to make a video on how to use this app. Um, found in the app store, it's called Bluetooth SPP Pro. Um, so it's going to, second you boot it up, it's going to start scanning for a device. You tap the screen, it won't, uh, it'll stop scanning. Uh, I'm going to turn on the screen so it's working. Uh, I'm going to click scan. And I, you can either let it scan, but if you see the device show up, you can just tap and stop scanning. You just tap it, click connect. Once it's connected, you'll see connection successful. Even when I had the transmit and receive lines reversed, it would still connect to it. I'm guessing because the Bluetooth module is separate from everything else, uh, it does its own authentication process with your phone that's separate from the Arduino. Um, but yeah, make sure that your, uh, I'm going to turn it off so we can see it. Uh, make sure that your focus, make sure that your, your transmit and your receive. So uh, yellow is the uh, uh, TX. So TX is on the bottom and then right above it is the RX. Make sure that all the way follows back to this side. That yellow is TX and RX is green, or whatever color you make it. But make sure those are correct. If they're reversed, everything will work. It's just you won't be able to control it with the phone. So I'll turn it back on. And I'll exit out, reopen it. Wait for my phone to get a focus. There we go. Uh, so connect, connect. Once it's connected, um, it worked kind of the same way that uh, the other app works and the same way that Alex shows. Um, you can do command line mode, um, and this just means when I type in text and click send, actually hit send there, uh, it'll do the same thing and you'll see jumbled text that I just sent. And it gives the same, um, same feedback messages that the other app does. So I think they're, they're very similar. Uh, ignore that you're offline. That's just my, my, uh, this phone's not on. Uh, a cellular network, it's just an Android device. Um, so that's not part of that app, that just pops up because of Android and yeah, my Wi-Fi disabled. So if I click the uh, back button um, a couple times, I can get back to keyboard mode. Keyboard mode is incredibly simple to set up. Um, go up to the options to dots up there and select a button set and then tap a button you want to program. So I want to program that one. And the button name is whatever you want the button to be called. So all those ones have the top four have names. Um, button down is what command gets sent when you push the button down. Uh, button hold is what command gets sent when you hold down the button. And button up is when you've let go of the button. So button down, button up. So I wouldn't try to do something where you're... If you want to like say something as you hold it down... It means you got to hold it down and it's going to send that command consistently. So I would just say, just put something in button down and leave the other three or the other two blank. Um, one uh, small bug, again, ignore the you're offline. One small bug that I've noticed is that when you start typing something down here, um, if you have a space or something in there and then you go back up here, I probably won't be able to replicate it on, on video, but uh, sometimes the OK message disappears. And you have to completely back out. So you have to, you know, hit the back button until you uh, get back to the window again, and then go to edit it. So once you've decided that, okay, I want to still call this, but I'll delete some of it so I know which one it is, and I'll say input send, and I want it to be blah 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 blah. Click OK. So now this C M E button, uh, that button's programmed. But in order to stop programming, you need to go back up to menu and say button set complete. Now that button's programmed, so when I hit SME, um, after that screen goes by, it's going to send my command, which was the garbled letters. And to confirm that, so garbled letters is a number, FGH99. Um, I'll go back into button set, not that. I'm watching it through my phone and not actually doing it. Uh, you can see that... Uh, they're actually G's that kind of look like nines. So 
I would use capitalized letters for all this stuff. Just the way the matrix displays it. Um, G's look like nines. That's something to be known about. Uh, as for the other settings in here, I haven't touched it because I'm just using the things that work for me. So if you want to play around, go nuts. Uh, if you break it, you can always uninstall the app, reinstall it. As for anything else related to this, I would refer to uh, Alex uh, rather than me. I, this is the app I use. Alex uses a different app. It's, everyone has their own choice. This one just seems to work, and it has push buttons. So uh, whatever one floats your boat, I guess. Um, if you're interested in the uh, 3D printable stuff, uh, you can find it on my Thingiverse page, which is just Thingiverse slash Ben Dagger. And that's 1G in Dagger. So uh, I'm willing to make another video if anyone needs any other questions, but that's just how this uh, app works. I haven't tried the uh, Bitstream mode. Um, I think that just tells you you know what it's saying and you can actually send commands to the uh, the Arduino chip on here um, but yeah play around if you want hope this helps um, if you can't get it to work it's something with your hardware it's not the not the app I've tried it with three different phones and it works fine and they're all consecutively older phones so consecutively probably less compatible and they all work fine so if you can't get this to work redo all that when I mean all that, I mean do what I did. I went through and I tested every single connection here. I took it all apart, rebuilt it, and did continuity tests on every single connection on where it's supposed to go and confirmed that everything was hooked up correctly. The only thing that was wrong is I just had those two wires reversed. So if RX and TX are reversed, fix it. And it'll work. And that's what worked for me. So, hope this helps.